it, it's set in a small town, Ohio, in 1979. In many ways, it might as well have been shot inside Steven Spielberg's brain in 1979. <laughs> yeah. There's so much of his DNA in here. For you, I don't know whether there was a need to go back and look at E.T. and Goonies and Stand mm-hmm. By Me and so many of those movies of that era. Right, I definitely had seen all of them. You know, they're classic. You sort of, you have to see them to live in, in the world. And um, I think that Super 8 is sort of the new generation of it. I think for my generation, we need another E.T. We need another movie like that. And I think Super 8 could be, you know, added to that list. <laughs> I know that the three boys and that, that, that you act alongside here, Ryan had done some work before, but for Joel and for Riley, this was their first movie. And the characters have to be somewhat in awe of your character, Alice. They have to, she's older, she's wiser, she's more beautiful, she's out of their league. And I know that JJ said it was actually quite natural for them to feel the way their characters would feel <laughs> when, when they were around you because you did know what you were doing and, and you were older and wiser and, and beautiful. So <laughs> I, I don't know if you felt that was kind of helpful. You knew as an actor, this is kind of helpful to my role, being able to sort of... Yeah, it did work. It sort of what was that way. But also, I'm always nervous when I go on the first day of set. And, I, you know, of course, they were too because it was the first movie set they'd ever been on. And JJ actually really helped helped them and to know all of, like, the movie lingo and, you know, <laughs> the things that people say on set. And I think that now they're... They're like they're pros at it, and they, um, it's huge. Their first movie they did was with J.J. Abrams and Steven Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I, I, I was looking over your history, and I know your mom, uh, Joy, she's a tennis, played mm-hmm. tennis professionally. Yep. Your dad, Steve, was league baseball. Your grandfather was Eagles quarterback, Rick yeah. Arrington. You're from Conyers, uh, Georgia, Georgia, just like a population of 13,941. <laughs> that was 2009. Yeah. So that's so far away from the idea of Hollywood. It's, it's about 1,000 miles and about 500 years yeah. away from Hollywood. I don't know if there was something in the family that said, let's try acting here. Yeah, I think because my parents have no acting genes at all, so and no one in my family really, so... It, it was it was funny when we actually got into acting because we were supposed to be like Venus and Serena, like tennis players anyway. So <laughs> it, it was it was so sort of odd, but it worked that way. My mom and my sister moved out to LA, and they um they decided that that was something that Dakota really wanted to do. So me and my dad moved out, and I saw my big sister doing it, so I wanted to try it. And and it's fun that we have that connection. That we that's something that brings us together in a way that we both do movies, and that. That's fun for us. Well, I, I was thinking too. It, it, right from the start, you played two-year-old uh, 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 Lucy. I think the character's mm-hmm. name was in, in 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 I Am Sam in two thousand and one. Yeah. So it's pretty much from the very beginning you've been doing this. I don't know if a, most teenagers start to feel rebellious. So I don't know whether you feel like I'll be a, I'll be a plumber now or I'll be an accountant <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. I want to break free of all this. <laughs> I think that um, being in the movies is is fun. It's not really work to me. So. Um, and it's something that I've just been doing my whole life, and hopefully I can continue to do it. And and I think that you can sort of do it do it at any age, and so that's what what's really fun. I also I do lots of ballet and I and sing, so there's other things that I do as well. It's sort of movies is just another you know after school activity, right? <laughs> I was thinking that that for for someone as as young as yourself and obviously very talented, and and some of the stuff you've done is amazing with somewhere and you know the door on the floor and all that. Whether there's a part of you that, that studies other actors, like obviously Jodie Foster is a great inspiration yeah. for a lot of people in Meryl Streep, but, but then the other side you've got the Lindsay Lohans and all that, do you realise well, there's a, a, a wrong path to take as well? Is it something you give a huge amount of thought to or do you try to be as natural as possible and just give it a, a certain amount of whatever happens, happens? I don't know if there's a, a huge thought process. Right. I think that I, I have to sort of surround myself with the people that love me and the movies can't really change your personal life. You have to have you know, the life that you sort of go back to. You do movies and then you come home and and you can't really stay in the movie world. And I think that that's what sort of keeps you grounded in a way. Actually, to the very last thing, your full name is Mary L. Fanning and and Mm -hmm. I think there's German and Irish blood in there. Yeah. As far as I know. Do do you know any idea where that Irish connection comes from or any... The Irish, you know, I I think it's from my great-grandmother. It's my, my grandma's mom. And I, and I'm, I was named after her actually. I'm a... L and her name was Eloise, but they short my mom shortened Eloise to L, and they say I look exactly like her. I have like her same nose, like, but I've never met her before. But my mom's like, you look so much like her, and so that's where the Irish comes in. You know, that's where all the talent and good looks come from. Really? Just, just in case you're curious. <laughs> all right. Germans for punctuality, but everything else, all the charm and all that. That's Irish. Oh, cool. All right. I'm giving the friendly finger. Lovely to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. And you're a bit of a Marlon Monroe fan as well, I guess. Yes. I know your grandma spent six hundred pounds on a on a. Uh, she what was did. that cream? Yeah.